Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to fit a garden gate like this one. It's going to be a step by step tutorial. I'm going to try and go as slowly as I can but if there's anything that you don't understand or if you have any additional questions or maybe you've got some stuff that I'm not fitting to this gate that you've got on your one, let, let me know below and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. But without further ado, let's get stuck in. Cheers. To start off with, you want to get your posts in place. Now you may already have posts in place, so that's fine. I've gone ahead and done these off camera just for ease of use. Um, basically all I've done is taken my spirit level and made sure we're level in this plane and we're level in this plane. Just to make sure that we're sitting all true. Next, what we want to do is we want to fit our stops just so that the gate has something to stop against. Now the way that I get the position for that is I take my gate, which is here, and I want to measure the thickness of my gate. Now, I'm going to be using a combination square for this, but you can use a tape measure, ruler, anything you have to hand. So I've set it to the thickness of the gate. In my case, that's 35 millimeters. And then measuring in from the inside of the gate, so my gate's going to be opening this way. I'm going to set my square on there and I'm going to run a pencil mark right the way down and I'll bring you in closer to show you that. Okay, so you can see this pencil line here. This is the inside of the gate. This is the outside of the property. So we're going to set our square on there and run our pencil line again down. Equally, if you're going to be doing it with a tape measure, just mark this point in a couple of places and then use a straight edge to connect them lines up. Okay, so now we know the position of our stops, we can actually take our screws and fix this stop in place. And we'll rule of thumb, four or five fixings along the length, doesn't need to be anything drastic, just enough to hold the stop in place. So now we've got both our stops attached, it's time to actually size the gate. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure between the two posts and then I want to subtract about 10 to 15 mil. Now, being an in outside gate, it's going to get a lot of moisture, it's going to expand and contract a lot. So you don't want to be putting in a gate with just like a three mil gap down either side because that's going to swell up in the winter time and it's going to cause you a right headache. As you can see by the weather now, I I'm fitting this in summer. So yeah, it's gonna be very dry at the moment. Winter time comes, it's take on a lot of moisture, that gate is not gonna open or shut. So yeah, 10 to 15 mil, around about there. I'm gonna shoot for about 12 mil, meet in the middle, um, and then go for that. One thing that I forgot to mention that's really important to pay attention to is don't take all of that off of the one side. Make sure you split it half and half between the gate. Won't do anything structurally, but it just looks a lot nicer on the end product. Okay, so now our gate's all sized and we're happy with it. We've checked that it fits. We've got a nice gap all the way around it. We want to go ahead and install our hinges first. Now, if you can see here, I put a pencil line across here. That's the center of this rail, and that's gonna line up with these two holes here. Not these ones, because these are offset, but these two screws here. And what you're gonna wanna do, is if you look on your hinge, you've got these two knuckles here and here. You wanna line them up with the edge of the gate, and then make sure that your screws are in them first holes. Now, you'll see here that my screws don't match. Now that's because all the screws that come with any hinges, it doesn't matter how much you spend on them, the screws are rubbish. So I'd go ahead and replace them. These are stainless, screw, st stainless steel screws, so they're not gonna rust. They'll last the test of time. Now that I've done this hinge, I'm gonna do the same on the bottom, and then I'm gonna get it all fitted. Okay, now that our hinge is on, it's time to go and put our gate in post. Now top tip, 
Use yourself a little spacer to put underneath the gate to help you align it all. I'm going to pop this at the bottom of the gate and it'll just help me get everything in place. So now that's in place we can go ahead and actually lift our gate in and we'll get that fixed in. To assist you in this, I'd suggest getting yourself some little packing shims just to move your gate over into a sensible place. One there and one there. Now that we've got our gate evenly spaced out we're going to go ahead and actually put it in now i'd recommend here only putting two screws in to start with just in case you need to move that gate at a later date you'll have a hole that you can reuse it's very tempting to put all the screws in and then you haven't got anywhere to go if, if the gate's slightly in the wrong place the bottom hinge. Pack her in there again. And screw it up. Okay, so now that we're all fixed up, we're happy, the gate swings and works all properly. We're actually going to go ahead and fit our handle. So I'm going to bring you in closer and show you how to do that. Okay, so now we're going to fit our handle. Now this comes in three parts. You have this part here with the little hook on it that goes on the post. And then you have these two parts here that go on the gate themselves. And then you drill a hole through for the other side. Now as you can see, we haven't got a lot of space here. So I'm going to try and position it the best I can just to get all of that on there. But like I said, there's not a great deal of space. But you can see I've put these two lines here and that's my crosshair to drill my hole straight away through. Okay, so now we've got a hole drilled, we can go and put our pin in, give that a little tap, Make sure that's right in. Sock this piece on. Screw this onto the gate. Yet again, just for now, only put a couple of screws in just in case you need to adjust anything. Now, I'm actually going to fit this part on the post first rather than this part, but we do need to get this in position. So we'll slot that in position. And then we can put our catch in place, making sure that this looks straight. Now that that's on, we can fit our other piece. Okay, so now that we're happy, our gate's swinging, we've put all our hinges in, all our screws in our hinges, we've got our keep on there, that's working really well. We're really happy with that. We're gonna put one more thing on and that's gonna be a security bolt. And we're gonna fix that at the top here. Normally you wouldn't do it at the top, just in case someone reaches over, but the customer's asked for that, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, you could put one on top and bottom if you was really worried. But in this instance, we're just going to do the one at the top. Okay, so as with everything else that we've done, we're going to find the middle of our rail and mark that with our square. Now that we've done that, we can take our lock and line it up. OK, 
Okay, so now we've got the bolt in place, we need to go and put our cape on. So if you put this in the lock position, take your cape, place that on. I'd suggest marking this with a pencil, because it can be a little bit fiddly to line it all up. Take that off, start the screws. You can drill the holes here if you really want to. Make sure that that's straight and put the other screw in. Now at this point I'd suggest putting a couple of bolts in there just for a bit of extra security. So you can see that's all working nicely and you can put a padlock on there if you choose to. And there you have it, we're done. I want to thank you for watching along. If you want to see any more tutorials like this, or if there's anything you want me to do a tutorial on, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to make a video for you. Um, if you want to see more of this sort of thing, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell and you'll be up to date with all my videos. But without further ado, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.